Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And I hope y'all are having a sane day at home today. At least the day that I'm filming this is the day that Natasha Denona's mini retro palette came out. And it is a mini five pan palette. I'll put a picture of it here. It looks gorgeous, stunning, and just super springy. It actually matches like my little painting of tulips back there. That's kind of the imagery I get when I look at this palette. And of course, I'm really tempted by it. I own a couple of her mini eyeshadow palettes already, the mini nude and the mini glam. But instead of buying it, I figured why not try to dupe it? So this is the second installment of, I guess, a new series that I have on my channel, which is duping new makeup with makeup I already own. I did dupe a palette once before with the ColourPop and Mulan collab Disney palette. And I'm actually relieved that this one is only five pans because a 15 pan one like took forever. So this is gonna be like a more reasonable amount of length of this video. A lot of y'all really seem to like my past video that I did duping the ColourPop Mulan palette. So here I am duping another palette with my modest eyeshadow collection. My collection is around 25 palettes and a third of those are nine pan palettes from Huda Beauty or ColourPop or they're even less than nine pans. So I don't have like a hugely extensive eyeshadow collection. So even within my quote modest collection, if I can find dupes for pretty much every shade of multiple palettes, it really deters me from the feeling of wanting to get the new one. I will put up the picture of the original palette first and then I photoshopped all of my dupes from my own collection into the original packaging. And so here is the photoshopped version of the palette with my shades. I did use those shades on my eyes today to create this look. So just to talk through what I did, I'm gonna to refer to the shades as one, two, three, four, five, as like the duped shades. So I took shade four, put it all over my lid, into my crease, up almost to my brow as my base. And then I took shade three, that olive forest green, and put it on my outer corner and the outer half of my eye. Shade two, I put on the outer half of my lid and blended it in with my finger into that green. Then to bring out more of the green, I went back into that matte green with my finger and rubbed that, blended that into the metallic that I put over it. With my finger again, I took shade five and put it on the inner parts of my lid. Then with my pinky, highlighted my inner corner with shade one. For the lower lash line, again with my finger, the best tool, took shade two and rubbed it along the center of my lid and then rubbed over that with shade three, that green. And to finish it off, just put on some black eyeliner and mascara and that led to this look. Alrighty, so the way that I'm gonna structure my video, I'm gonna go through the five shades, shade by shade, and read the description of the original shade, look at some swatches, and then introduce what dupe I have in my own collection, and then look at a swatch of that. And then at the very end, I'll show you the swatches all along my forearm in a good B-roll shot, and then we'll be done. Starting from the left of the palette, the first shade we have is Galaxia, which is described as a light nude with green and blue sparks. And if you look at the swatches of this, it's light with a little bit of peachiness or nude-ness in there, and the reflect is blue, pretty much, is what I saw. And the finish is also very, very sparkly, glittery. So in my collection, I went hunting for a highlight shade, essentially, that had some blue, green, purple sparkle in it. And I do have one like that in my So Jaded palette. And the shade is Moonstone. And the description of Moonstone on ColourPop's website is a silvery taupe with purple and blue sparkle. For now, I'll swatch all these shades just on my hand because I can fit five shades here. And then again at the end, I'll show you some forearm swatches. Here's Moonstone. The camera is having a little bit of a hard time picking up the blue and purple sparkle, but it's essentially a highlight shade that isn't completely champagne. This formula is not gonna be as glittery as the Natasha Denona one, but actually I kind of prefer that. The second shade in the original palette is Industrial, described as a green taupe with silver reflect. Okay, so this shade, I admittedly did not find an exact dupe for in my collection. This is actually quite a unique shade. It is green, but a cool green. So a lot of the greens that I have in my collection are like green, like really green. For example, like in So Jaded, there's emerald, but that's way too green. And I also have a couple like 
green golds, but again, wrong undertone. For my duochromes that have green, a lot of times it has a very brown or reddish base, so that's too warm. So for this shade, I could go in two directions. First, I could run with the like deep, unique, grungy, antique green, or I could kind of go on the reflect side where it flashes more silvery and mysterious. I decided to run with the silver tones because that looks like to be the most prominent tone in Natasha Denona's and Trend Mood's arm swatches. So by that route, I picked a single eyeshadow I have. It's this dark taupey silver here. And this is a single eyeshadow I got from Ipsy when they collabed with Tetris. This shade in particular is called T-Spin, which is described as a shimmery pewter. Here is T-Spin. So you can't really see the green, but I think it does capture the effect of the silver reflect. And if I catch the reflect, then I can always layer it with a matte green so the green base shows through more, which is what I did on my eyes and my look. The third shade in the palette is called 60s, along with the retro theme. So 60s is described as a greenish gray. So it looks like an olive army green. And so the shade that I picked for that comes from my So Jaded palette. And I find that tone in the shade Jade here, which is described on ColourPop's website as olive green. Here is Jade from So Jaded, which I think is a really beautiful olive forest army khaki green. The fourth shade in the original Natasha Denona palette is called Vintage Taupe, and this is an antique rose. So this looks like just um, kind of a rose-toned nude transition shade, and I have a few of these, but the one that matched the depth the best in my collection is from the Huda Nude Rich palette, and it is this top shade here. And these shades don't have specific names or specific descriptions on the website, so I don't know what the official Huda Beauty description of this shade is, but let me give you a swatch. Here is that matte antique rose from the Huda Nude Rich palette. The combination of this neutral rose with this deep green just reminds me of nature. It's so like in season, I guess. Now at last we're at the fifth shade, which is called Pixie, described as a pink with champagne shift. The dupe from my collection that I pulled for that metallic pink is in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette, and it is rose quartz in the center here. And I couldn't find the official description of it, but it's essentially like a rosy metallic with a gold shift. I think the formula of Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows are similarly soft as the Natasha Denona shadows, so this is like close-ish to a formula dupe as well. Here's the last swatch, Rose Quartz. Kind of running off the side of my, thing, side of my hand. And there are the shades. This is my palette. Here are the arm swatches of the shades all together. Big reason why I even try to dupe new palettes with stuff from my collection is because I really try to avoid the feeling of instant regret after buying something. And a lot of times, like the feeling of buying something is actually better than having the thing. One thing that I find happens for me while in this process of finding dupes for the shades of a new palette is that I realize that I didn't even like the palette as much as I thought. So don't get me wrong, this color scheme is beautiful and I never would have thought to throw these shades together. But when I look at like that olive green, I think, wow, that's so beautiful. I don't have a lot of those in my collection, even though I kind of do, even if it's just a couple. But even though I have like this green shade, I don't use it a lot. And same thing goes with this dark silver. I don't use these two shades a lot in my collection. And so I realized that what I wanted about the palette was the novelty and the maybe the brand, but not like the actual functionality. So that's a cool thing I learned today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked it by giving me a thumbs up. And if y'all like it, then I'll keep on making them once inspiration strikes. That's everything I have for today. If you're new to seeing my face, I really hope you'll stick around and let me know in the comments what you think of this palette. Is it as like new and innovative as you thought? Because that actually that metallic green shade was really hard to find a dupe for, or you think you can pass on it. As you go, I must remind you at the end of all my videos that y'all are my treasure. Remember to find the beauty in every day and most importantly, be kind to yourself. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.